Welcome, welcome back, guys. How are you guys doing today? So today is March 9, which on Wednesday. I uh, hope you guys are doing okay today. So uh, in this video, I'm going to read through the books and tell you guys about the uh, stock allowance, the feed, the spindle speed, the plunge rate, and the depth cut. So I hope you guys follow along. And again, I, I have the book in my website that you can download it and get one from my website and if you don't have one. So uh, this video again, and it's for beginner, not for the advanced. So uh, I'm gonna read through the books and I hope you guys follow along and, uh, and let's go from there. So, okay, let's talk about the uh, stock allowance. So allowing the parameter specifying a certain thickness of material to be left on the workpiece for further machining. Figure 7.7 .7 illustrates the effect of stock on the two pad. In master cam direction of stock allowance is determined by setting compensation in the computer parameter. The stock is left side when the compensation is computed is set to the left. Likewise, when it's set to the right, the compensation is on the right. If compensation is on computer set to off, the stock direction is then decided by the parameter of compensation in control. If both compensation in computer and compensation is in control are set to off, the stock allowance ignore. As you see the pictures right here, this one right here is zero stock, the second one right here is non-zero stock to the left, and this right here non-zero stock to the right. Now we start the feed. The feed master cam uses two types of feed to control the machining speed, feed rate, and plunge rate. The plunge rate applies to motion in Z direction only. Feed rate applies to all other motion. This unit normally in IPM, which stands for inch per minute. Spindle speed. This parameter specifies the desired speed in revolution per minute, which stands RPM. An S code with the given RPM will be inserted into the part program to control the spindle speed of the machine. Rapid depth. Rapid depth is also referred to as a clearance plane, plunge reference plane, or initial level. It specifies a Z coordinate for one, the cutter to wrap it down to before starting the cutting. Two, the cutter to rapidly retract to add the end of the machining motion. And three, the cutter to move to the rapid depth between separate machine contour. As you can see, the figure 7.8 illustrates the use of rapid depth in machining. As you see the pictures right here, it show you the rapid depth and the zero plane. So again, if you don't have this picture or this book to follow, please go to my website and get one. So on depth cut, the so depth cut is parameter specify the number of roughing and finish cut to be taken in the Z direction. It's allowing us to set the number of roughing cut with the specific depth of each roughing cut and the number of finish cut with specified depth of each finish cut. The total number of cutting path is the sum of roughing cut and finish cut. The four parameters defined as step are shown below. Okay, so that is all I have for you guys today. We talk about this, you know, depth cut, the wrapping, depth, spindle speed, and the feed rate, plunge rate, and then we talk about the stock, uh, stock allowance. Again, please study this and memorize that what you, when you do in the program, remember that you know, the feed rate, the plunge rate, retract rate is also important when you make a good part or a bad part. It's your decision. Okay, uh, that's all I have for today and I hope to see you next time. And if you have anything to say in the comment, please leave it in the comment. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. But out of that, goodbye and see you next time.